Oh, and Pebbles and Bam Bam are very cute. I met them while they were in the studio, and I have no doubt that they will get adopted. Hey, it's going to be a good day to uh, good morning at least to go outside and take the dog for a walk because it's not as cold out there. And we had a gorgeous sunrise. I promised that we would show more of these pictures that our viewers have been sending in. I am so thankful for our weekend morning viewers always sending me and allowing me to share your pictures that you take from your house. You know, I always get a lot of people on social media that tell me these funny weather saying someone recently said if it rains on the first day of the month, it's going to rain 15 days out of the month. And a lot of people say red sky in the morning sailor take warning. That means that some rain is coming and there's actually a little bit of science behind that. If we do have a red sky like this to start off the day, it does mean more clouds are starting to move in. A good sunrise could mean that rain chances are on the horizon and that's actually the case today. We have more rain that's moving in later tonight. This is our view from Lebanon. Thanks so much, Mike, for sending that in. If you do have a weather photo that you want to send to me, here are all of my social media pages. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and also on Instagram, weatherheather underscore NC5. Looking at satellite and radar, here are those clouds that have moved in during the overnight period. The clouds plus the return of a southerly wind have all helped helped in our favor, keeping us warmer today. If you'll remember yesterday, we were in the 20s and the teens. It just felt so frigid outside, but at least here in Nashville, we're about 15 degrees warmer right now than we were yesterday. We're in the 30s for most spots. There's even a couple locations that are in the 40s right now. Hopkinsville at 41 Camden over in Benton County, 40 degrees. Good morning down in Columbia. You are at 33. Good morning up in Macon County. Lafayette it this morning at 36. We're at 30 degrees in Cookville. Mainly our spots in our higher elevations are either at or below freezing. You're my coldest locations to start off this Sunday. Rain chances will start to sneak in. It looks like we'll have a little band of some light rain that'll move over West Tennessee and mainly areas west of I-65 as we head throughout the afternoon. Notice that this isn't widespread, but a few scattered, very light showers will be around during the afternoon and the evening hours today. It's not going to anything that will wash out your plants, but just something that you should be aware of. As we head into early Monday morning, rain chances move back into the picture, becoming more widespread for everyone across Middle Tennessee. And with this batch of widespread rain, there will be at least some pockets in there that are heavier than others. Notice the deeper shades of oranges and yellows. It's where it's going to come down just a little bit harder. Widespread rain with us through lunchtime tomorrow, but then starting to take off for the drive home. Now that doesn't mean your drive home from work on Monday won't be completely dry. There will still be a few scattered showers out, but we're looking for this really to wrap up by early on Tuesday. As far as how much rain we're going to get with this system, only about an inch to an inch and a half. It does look like there will be a couple of spots that could pick up on more uh, closer towards south of Interstate 40, but this isn't going to be a big soaking system like we have seen in the past. For those folks who are keeping tally on this, we are still running above normal for 2020, almost at 11 inches of rain. Normal, we see about seven inches, about a surplus of over four. To put that in perspective, last year for February, remember how wet it was? We picked up on 13 inches total for the month, so it could be worse. Now, Tuesday, Day, we'll have a little break from the rain temperature staying in the 50s today through Tuesday. But Wednesday system coming in for the middle of the week will drop our temperatures. Temperatures will be colder, only highs in the 30s by Thursday. We'll be right back. 